Always tracking, always alerting. Here's your Storm Track 15 weather. Okay, it is 514. If you're just joining us this morning, I think it's a good sign that we see clouds, but minimal. I think that means sunnier <laughs> conditions later today. Storm Track 15 meteorologist Adam Olivier joining us now. Adam, good morning. Yeah, good morning, Alex. Eventually we are going to see some sunlight out there, but it is going to take some time because we are still dealing with a lot of those clouds, even some mist that's flying about the area. Our Hub City Tower camera showing that we have some low clouds that are streaking through. Now we had a bit of some rain a little while ago. In fact, it's still being reported at the airport at 53 degrees with that temperature. Winds at northerly at 18, dew point of 49. So definitely some chilly conditions. Those winds are going to be the big story today, though. 15 to 25 sustained gust up to 40. That gives us the criteria needed for a wind advisory, which will be in place until 4 p.m. Here's a look at those showers that move through so fast. It's hard to keep up with them. They were pretty potent back up towards Opelousas, but now just a few light sprinkles left over south of Eunice near Iota and same deal here around Abbeville. This is more of that mist that's going to be falling in the sky more so than any type of rain that really wets the ground. We're looking at those temperatures here in the 40s in Ville Platte. Uh, Opelousas, well, you're at 50 in Ville Platte, 49 in Opelousas, 53, a very common number along the I-10 corridor, stretching down the Highway 90 corridor. Your winds right now are strong, but they're only going to get stronger through the morning time. You can see 15 to 20 sustained, even 24 sustained in New Iberia with a gust to 37. So certainly some very potent winds out there. Well, those clouds do start to break up between 9 and midday. And we will see a few try to wrap back on in around 3 p.m., but a much sunnier scene sets up for this afternoon and into the evening hours where we actually go quiet and clear through the overnight. So we are looking at those temperatures here in the mid 60s out there for the day today. Tonight we see those temperatures dropping down into the upper 30s and lower 40s with those clear skies. And then looking ahead, we see those temperatures here jumping up <laughs> Look at that Thursday, Friday into the mid 70s. So certainly some very warm conditions and we do see that sunlight here sticking around each and every day. Mornings will be in the 30s and 40s, at least through Wednesday morning. But then as we get closer to the end of the week, not only do we see those warmer temperatures, but we do have to track some pop up showers and storms each and every day. Now there's a lot of parades going on this weekend. So we're going to have to keep a very close watch on this forecast here as we get to your Friday, Saturday, and then it looks like mostly Sunday morning that we're going to be keeping a watch on for those temperatures to uh, or for those storms to really roll through the area. Temperatures though pretty warm in the 70s here uh, through that extended period. So right now it does look like we're going to have to dodge a few raindrops again. Not necessarily the forecast anybody wanted to see, but it doesn't look too bad at the current time. Maybe a little more rain chance on Monday of next week. An early look at your Mardi Gras forecast should be a little cool. That's Saturday. Sunny. We need that to like move. Well, a 30% chance means like know. a pop up storm, so it shouldn't be like an all day downpour thing. That would be so. that would be great. I hope it stays that way. Yeah, it looks more like Saturday late night into early Sunday morning that we see the worst of the weather. Let's let's hope that it stays right there. Adam, we of course will continue to uh, check in this morning for updates, but we've got yeah. to talk about the crawfish. Yeah, and we've been talking.